Hello. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the atom. Um, I'm going to be looking at the structure of the atom, uh, the properties of the uh, particles that make up the atom, um, different forms of the atom, and yeah, the symbol symbol notation. What, how the atom, how atoms and uh, of elements can be represented on the periodic table and stuff like that. Okay, first of all, I'm going to start off with the structure of the atom. The atom basically consists of a nucleus at the center of the uh, at the center of the atom. And that is surrounded by electrons, which are basically surround the nucleus. Let's not put three in that shell. But the electrons basically surround the nucleus in its specific like energy levels. Well, in orbitals, basically, they exist. They, they, the electrons exist in orbitals which are, uh, have specific energy levels which are around the nucleus of the atom now there are three main particles which make up the atom the first one is protons which have a relative mass of one and this relative mass is actually relative to the protons themselves they have a relative mass of one and they have a relative charge of plus one so it's positive charge plus plus one relative to the proton again and we have neutrons also I'll draw the neutrons in grey and you'll see why very soon we have neutrons and these have a neutral charge and these also have a, have a mass of 1 relative to the proton and they actually have a charge of 0 relative to the proton so they don't actually have any charge and we also have in the atom the nucleus which basically um, let's draw this in yellow ah, the oh, no, did I just say the nucleus ah I meant the electrons we also have electrons, which I'll draw like that, and these have much, much, a much, much smaller relative charge. The relative charge of electrons are, I mean, the relative mass of electrons relative to protons is one over one, no, one over two thousand. So a lot smaller than the mass of protons. And they have a relative charge of minus one. So they have a negative charge. And if I draw that model from before, I draw if I draw that again now with the protons inside the nucleus and the neutrons also inside the nucleus and let's say this is an energy level with electrons surrounding it since we have three protons and this is an atom I'm going to draw another shell with one electron in it because atoms have an equal number of protons and electrons Now, the actual um, symbols which are usually used to represent elements, not specifically on the periodic table, but when you're talking about mass and atomic number, uh, the notation usually used looks like this. So first of all, we have an X. 
in the middle which represents the element symbol and this let's say for example oxygen oxygen has an element symbol which looks like this it's an O and something like neon has a element symbol like this so that that would be the element symbol and this X the X representing any element symbol would have a a letter here not all the, not on on the periodic table the, the number here is that the, the the number represented here is actually the relative atomic mass I mean the relative relative mass yeah relative atomic mass but what we're looking at here is not the relative atomic mass it's the mass number which is slightly different and I'll go into relative atomic mass in another video I'll leave that for another video this right now I'm going to look at the mass number which we represent with the letter A and that mass number is basically calculated by adding the number number of protons and the number of neutrons and when you add these up you get this number mass number and we also have another symbol which is down here which is a Z and that Z is basically the atomic number and atomic number basically represents the number of protons now the mass number is also known as the nuclear number and the atomic number is also known as the proton number and <coughs> as I explained oh yeah that's why that's why and sometimes electrons can be added or removed from atoms and atoms usually have an equal number of electrons and protons but when they have electrons added or removed from them they they form ions and ions are are like are the thing formed when there's an uneven number of protons and electrons on a particular atom so, so we call them ions for example um, if we take a look at carbon for example carbon usually has six electrons and it also has six protons if we were to bring an uh, electron and add it to this and we had seven electrons and six six protons still this carbon atom which we represent by the notation I showed you just now we we it look like this this carbon atom would have a charge it would look like this so it would be C but it would have a charge of 1 minus so that it actually has an extra negative charge 1 negative or hydrogen let's 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 remove an electron this time hydrogen usually has one proton and one electron if we were to remove this electron so we there basically assassinated this electron if we were to remove that electron we would have one proton and the charge of protons as I said before is plus one so what we would have left is hydrogen with a one plus charge instead of instead of having no charge and this would be called a hydrogen ion Okay, now the element 
that uh, particular atom is is determined by the number of protons it's not determined by the number of neutrons it's not determined by the number of electrons but the number of protons if we were to remove a proton from the nucleus of, of an atom what we would actually do is change the element so we would actually have a different element but if we were to change the number of neutrons we would not have a different element instead what we'd have is something which chemists know and oh, okay. um, we'd have something which chemists call isotopes isotopes or an an isotope if it was just like one we'd have an isotope of that element we'd start off with an isotope but if we were to change the number of neutrons we'd have a different isotope and isotopes are atoms of the same element but what we've done to this element is that we've changed the number of neutrons in that in that element so we know that the number of neutrons affects the mass number because the mass number is found by adding the number of protons to the number of neutrons so therefore we can also say this 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 explanation of an isotope in another way we can say an isotope is an atom of the same element with a different mass number instead of saying a different number of neutrons because the neutrons affect that and the reason why we don't need to say an isotope has the same number of protons is because by saying an isotope is an atom of the same element elements are determined by the number of protons anyway so we don't need to say this again we are implying by saying an atom of the same element has the same number of protons so what isotopes how isotopes differ is that they have different numbers of neutrons and we represent this using that notation from before as this number which is here the a so and sometimes we don't actually have this there because by the elemental symbol x we can look at the periodic table and we know what z is from that so a which is the mass number can differ depending on the isotope and let's say we have an isotope of carbon 13 13 c this would be carbon 13 which is an isotope of carbon we often see on the periodic table that we have a 12 here and a C that's usually taken as because because carbon 12 is the most abundant isotope I'll go into this in a different video but anyway this means that it has 13 nucleons which is the sum total of the protons and the neutrons and let's say we did have this 6 here if we had a different isotope, the most common isotope, which is this one, carbon-12 and a 6, the 6 does not change. These are two different isotopes. And how we'd know the different number of, uh, the, of neutrons is by subtracting the proton or atomic number from the mass or nucleon number. So 13 minus 6 would give us 7 whereas here we've got 12 minus 6 equals 6 so here we've got 7 neutrons but here we've got 6 neutrons so we've got a different number of neutrons and therefore we have different isotopes and well that's the basics of the atom I hope you maybe gained a little bit from this video thank you All right.